Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to make our way to the Duke's archives. But before we do, I want to show everybody what I have on. It's the usual attire. The only thing that I changed was my ring. It's the wolf ring for a little extra poise. We are going to change that out a little later. I also farmed up 1,126,000 souls. It's up to you if you want to do that. I only did that to go ahead and uh, put enough points in the strength and dex so that we don't have to do that anymore. And it's done with. And anything else that we put into our stats is just going to be dump stats and I put that into endurance didn't I that's okay easy fix there we go strength and dex is done so real quick before we head to Duke's archives I'm going to go ahead and pop all my souls you don't have to do this I'm just doing this because it's going to be more convenient once we get over to a certain area to buy all the spells from Big Hat Logan. I don't have to go in here and do it later. But if you would like, just in case it may make you nervous carrying this many souls, just wait until we get over to Big Hat Logan and we're able to buy the spells. And then we're going to use the Soul of Sif. And that should be all of them. Let's go ahead and head over to Anne Orlando and I'll see everybody there. The bonfire is not kindled because we killed the illusion of Guinevere and we ended up killing the bonfire keeper as well for that bonfire it's a little dark over here that's all right we're going to have two boars over here. Um, it's pretty easy to get the boar helm from them. Pretty common drop. Right there we get the fang boar helm. We have one more to kill just around this corner up here. I like to do a running sweep and then hit him a couple times. And we got another Fang Boar Helm. We're going to light this bonfire. We're also going to sit at this bonfire. And real quick, before we get started, we're going to go ahead and switch out to a rare ring of sacrifice because we have to die for a boss encounter. And that boss can cause a curse buildup. So I like to be cautious. Just kind of grab aggro and step back. Makes things a little easier. There's one more guy over here. He's making his way over here. Just got shot in the shoulder. Is it being impatient? And we got one off to the right.
killing that crystal golem will give us the broken pendant. We'll be able to go to the DLC after this. I don't know why I drank an Estus. I really didn't need to, but better safe than sorry, right? Be careful not to be hit with arrows or anything. They hurt pretty bad because the channeler buffed them. There should be another guy over here. Ah, there he is. Guess he didn't buff those guys, though. Let's kind of take it slow. Oh, that was some bullshit. There we go. Got all the enemies, for the most part, that is. Come over here, open up a chest. Get a Twinkling Titanite. This area, you're going to get a ton of Twinkling Titanite. So if there's a certain weapon that needs to be leveled up with that upgrade material, here's the place to get it. You can also farm it over here. Well, not in this area precisely, but in um, a different area that's in the Duke's archives. These guys are so annoying with that shield bash. Right here we have a mimic. Let's go ahead and kill it. Get the crystal knight shield. I'm not bothering to heal because we're going to end up dying anyways. Take this guy out. Pretty easy. Shouldn't be too hard. We're actually a little overpowered, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with being overpowered. Unless you want the game to be harder. Then I can understand. Get some more Twinkling Titanite from that Crystal Lizard. And right here is the boss fight. But we can't harm him, so we just have to die to him. We might die on our first hit, by the way, too. Nope. But see how the uh, curse buildup is active whenever he uses those crystals, and we're dead. Go ahead and put on our wolf ring again. We're going to light this bonfire. We'll sit at the bonfire. And then we want to kill this serpent man. Get the archive tower cell key. You don't have to kill these guys. They're just going to respawn anyways. I just like killing them. Right here we're going to get a cutscene as soon as we go through this door.
Alright, let's take out this serpent man. The other one's gonna run for from us. That's alright, we can get a backstab. Come to the top here. can't open that door yet we only came up here to fall down right here try not to fall too close to the uh, wall here it'll kick you off and you'll have a death and that will suck nobody likes to die and then we're just gonna sit at the bonfire one time this noise is super obnoxious though Uh, of course. We'll get a backstab on this guy and then we'll go kill the other guy. slide down the ladder real quick it's okay it gives us time to have the squid ladies I don't know I don't know what to call them careful for their grab attack that is the most dangerous attack they have they'll grab you and then they'll uh, like spear you through the chest or whatever take that guy out I'm going to open up this uh, cell, but there's nothing in there. If you don't want to open it up, you don't have to. This one's locked. We'll be able to open that in just a moment. Come over here. And then over there, you can fall down. But I find it easier to come this way. Some more of those ladies here. They are females, by the way. We can open up this door. Take out this hollow. Or crystal hollow. Grab ourselves the archive prison extra key. Don't think there... Oh, there is more down there, but they're not coming up here, so... I am cool with that. We will get to them later. Open up this door. We'll be able to get a soul right over here. That's uh, one of the ladies dropped that. They do have a chance to drop humanity, but it's not very often and it's not very common. I forgot that these guys respawned because we rested at that bonfire. Open up this door. Then we're going to hop down. Grab ourselves another soul. Then we will hop down one more time. Go, set, go ahead and top ourselves off. Be really careful, we have two serpent men. And we have a serpent man that throws lightning. We're about to turn off this very obnoxious sound here in just a moment. First, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the archive tower giant door key. Finally got that noise to stop. Thank goodness. It's pretty obnoxious. Go ahead and heal ourselves real quick. Just in case we get grabbed or anything. 
There's a lady, a couple ladies right here. Usually there's only one. Another humanity, lucky drop. Right here, these ones will not attack you unless you hit them. They do drop some miracles, soothing sunlight, and then bountiful sunlight. Let's go ahead and talk to Logan. Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm imprisoned once again. I don't suppose you could stage me a getaway. The archives. Such a storehouse of knowledge. So close, but just out of reach. The thought offends me, so I could simply die. As a student of the arts, you understand me, yeah? We have to find a key to let him out. And we will come back to let him out a little later. For now, we're just going to continue on. Now that we have the key to open up this door, we can do so. Off to our right, we're going to have another crystal hollow. Take him out. It's pretty easy. Be careful. We have an archer. He's not too bad. And then we have another crystal hollow. So there's one standing right here, and then there's the archer right there. Go ahead and take this channeler out. Go up top real quick. We're going to have another hollow over here. Kind of hiding behind these pillars. There's nothing to open up over here like any chests or anything. But I like to take care of any enemies if I can. Down here there's a chest you can kind of see down below. If you spin this... You can run to the bottom here really quick and hop off as it's almost over top of there and you can get the Avalon. I'm not going to bother because it's just an annoyance to me. But if you come down here and like hop off, you'll be able to fall down on top of that bookshelf and grab yourself the Avalon. The Avalon, I believe, is a crossbow that shoots three bolts at a time there's only two items um, in this area that I just refuse to get one is a blue titanite slab it is so difficult to get and just not worth it and the other one is that Avalon down there other than that we'll get all the rest of the items Oop, forgot about this guy over here And this is the last boss that we're going to have to kill before we can beat the game. Now, we're not going to beat the game quite yet because we still have some DLC to do. Now, I was hoping I would be able to roll in time, but I guess not.
right? I believe there is a treasure chest right over here. Go ahead and heal. And then we're going to spin this staircase again. Well, this is a different one, but we're going to spin it. And then right here we have a hollow. He's going to shoot arrows at us. I never bother killing him. He's never really fast enough to shoot you with the arrow. Let's pull this lever. We'll come over here. Grab ourselves a blue titanite chunk. Get the channeler attire. And then we get the uh, cell key to Big Hat Logan. And right here is our last mimic of the main game. Not our last mimic of the game, just the main game. There are some mimics in the DLC. But because it's the last mimic in the main game, we automatically get the symbol of avarice. It'll always give the symbol of avarice if you have not picked it up. So that's a really good thing. And we'll also get the enchanted falchion. One more chest to open up. And we get the crystal ember. Let's go ahead and light a bonfire. I'm going to kindle it twice. Just to have a few extra Estus if we need it. I doubt we'll need it, but you never know. And it never hurts. If you want, you can kindle it uh, three times. Have 20 Estus. Also, I did kindle the bonfire at Firelink Shrine three times, so we'll always have 20 Estus Flask. Well, when we sit at that uh, bonfire, we'll always have 20 Estus. On top of the bookcase to the right is going to be a archer trying to shoot you, so just be careful for that. You can choose to kill him if you want. I'm not going to bother. Didn't roll in time. It's alright. We want to go to the top of these stairs. At the top, we will try not to get hit by that channeler. But at the top, let's take care of this guy real quick. We're going to backtrack here. We've been here before. This is where we first... Oh my goodness. I should have healed when I wasn't in the doorway. Looking like a scrub here. And then just kind of backtrack. Just keep going down. But yeah, this is where we ended up getting imprisoned. We're just backtracking a little bit. Now both of these guys should fight us. One won't be running away this time. We'll take this guy out so he doesn't follow us. Anybody else that is right here too we'll take out. That way they don't follow us all the way down there while we're trying to kill some ladies. Sounds horrible but it's true. You don't have to kill all of them. I just like to be overly cautious. Again, be careful for their grab attack.
go ahead and let Big Hat Logan out. Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. We're going to grab our last bonfire keeper, or <laughs> bonfire keeper, um, fire keeper soul. And then we will use a homeward bone to go back to the last bonfire we rested at. See everybody there. Big Hat Logan is going to be right over here. We're going to buy all of his spells. Hello there. I was expecting you. This place is truly magnificent. More than expected even. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you. And the secret of Seath's immortality. This is where if you didn't pop the souls earlier, you can pop them and buy all of his magic or sorceries magic oh my goodness you can buy all his sorceries and then we will go ahead and talk to him for a minute after we do ah the secret of seath's immortality if you have fought him and were in prison you must know that seath is a true undead different from ourselves his wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal, a sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. And it so happens, the primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives, the Crystal Forest. The tomes stored in these archives are truly magnificent, a great pool of knowledge, the fruits of superior wisdom and an unquenchable desire for the truth. Some would say Seath had an unsound fixation but his work is a beautiful, invaluable resource. All progress demands sacrifice, and I certainly bear no antipathy for that wonderful, scaleless beast. Come again. The knowledge here is limitless. I will absorb it, then share it with you. Go ahead and pull the lever and then down here we have another crystallized hollow. Pick up some prism so stones. We're going to kill this golden golem over here. is actually going to be holding another NPC. Let's go ahead and talk to her. It was you who rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Ziegland of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now I shall just stay put and keep out of trouble. 
Be sure to say yes when she asks if you have seen her father. It will continue Sigmire's quest line. Grab another blue Titanite chunk. Grab ourselves the crystalline armor set. Or crystalline, or I think it's crystalline or crystalline. One of the two. Not sure. Take those two guys out, and then we can run down here. This is probably going to be the hardest part for everybody. There's a lot of invisible walkways here. Wait for the crystal golem to come to us so we have a little more room to fight. If you see these crystals falling and they like kind of look like they're hitting something, that means that you can walk on it. Grab ourselves a humanity. We're going to run across. I know it's scary. But just follow the little crystal speckles and you'll be all right. We're going to run right past this golem if we can. Try not to die there. I know that the camera can be very wonky. Oops. I knew that was going to happen as soon as, as soon as I seen it. I was like, damn it. I knew it. Then we want to come back over here. And then where this crystal is sticking out, we want to hop down, immediately turn around, and kill us some crystal lizards. There's three in um, all. Right here, we're going to be really quick. We're going to have to drink an Estus, drop down, pick up the item, and then run. Like I said, just follow the little crystal speckles. That one's a little harder, but I have faith in everybody. And then right here, just kind of line yourself up and run straight across. We're going to use our bow. This is a great place to farm up some um, Twinkling Titanite because there's a ton of these oyster guys or clam guys, whatever you want to call them. Either way, it's kind of the same thing. I would advise fighting one at a time. They hit pretty hard. But they drop um, Twinkling Titanite. I, I went over that previously. And they also uh, drop Purging Stones.
We got a Twinkling Titanite and a Purging Stone from that one. Pretty sweet drop. Go ahead and heal ourselves. And then we're going to go watch a cutscene real quick. We're gonna run back and wait right here by this crystal. We're gonna smack it in just a moment, but we want Seath to get a little closer. Right there. That way we don't have such a far way to run. We want to hit his tail. Then we get the Moonlight Greatsword. Very iconic for the Souls games. Ooh, that was very close. Stop doing that with your tail, Seath. Last hit, and he's dead. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The only thing that made him hard there for a second is he kept doing the same attack with his tail. So we get a Lord Soul, and we get a Humanity. We're going to sit at this bonfire, and we're going to go over to the Duke's Archives. Let's go talk to Big Hat Logan again. Who are you? Stay clear. Stay clear of my work. Curses upon you. How dare you disturb me? So Big Hat Logan has obviously lost his mind. We're going to use our last homeward bone to go back to the boss fight where, or well, the boss arena to where we fought Sith, Sith not, yeah, Sith, not Sith, <laughs> Sith, and then we're going to come back to the Duke's archives. All right. So the reason we did that is so the quest will continue for Big Hat Logan. Want to come over here? We're going to take out this archer so he doesn't shoot us in the back here. Or just shoots us in the face. That's okay too, I suppose. We're going to pull this lever. And we're going to step back a little bit. Wait for the elevator to come down. Pull the lever again. And we're going to head to the top where we fought uh, Seath the first time. Eventually I'll get his name right. <laughs> it's not Sith. It's not Sif. It's Seath. <laughs> Good lord. Played this game so many times. And for some reason I just cannot get there names right 
Just can't get their names right. You can see uh, Big Hat Logan had a new attire change. Apparently he thought that he would be well more protected without armor. We'll get the White Dragon Breath Sorcery from him, the Big Hat, and the Tin Crystallization Catalyst. Get the Large Magic Ember. Then we'll come over here. Grab another soul. And then let's backtrack a little bit. Alright, we're going to sit at this bonfire and I will see everybody at Firelink Shrine and we'll wrap up the video. Alright everyone, I would like to tell everybody first and foremost, thank you very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.